Monday, on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 20, 24. You can lean on it. Don't let you fall. Don't let you fall. Clap your hands. He won't let you fall. He come back, say, He won't let you fall. Everyone shout, He won't let you. Good morning, good morning, great people of the living God. You already know He won't let you fall. You have that history, or that testimony yourself, that He won't let you fall. So good morning to you, great people of the living God. Sister Marietta Jones, I see you. Sister Gunter Gilchrist, Sister Brenda Sanders, Sister Shirley Moreland, Sister Belinda Johnson, Sister Danielle Robinson, Johnson Y. Johnson Embry. Good morning, Sister Helen Thomas. Good morning to you, Sister Monica Allen, Sister Helen Womack, Brother Walter Smith, Sister Lynthia Bruce, Brother Wayne Walden, Brother Craig Reed, Elder John Turner, Deacon Charles Lott, Sister Hope Collins, Sister Patricia, good morning. Um, Elder Gary Smith, good morning. Minister Steve Herring, Brother Kenneth Hicks, good morning to you. Angel Denise, good morning. Sister Lalitha Antoinette. Willie Daniels, good morning to you. Brenda Sanders, Sister Debbie Spiva, good morning. Janice Murray, good morning to you. God bless you, Sister Pat Scott Grant, Sonia Tillman. Good morning, Rhonda Lockett. Listen, go ahead and lean on the share button. Great people of God, lean on the share button. Not only lean on the share button. I see Sister Belinda Clark. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Suffragan Bishop Victor Morsi. It's good to see you, sir. Good morning to you, Adwan Agnew, Teresa Brown. Good morning to you, Mother Marva Coates. Let's pray for Mother Marva Coates, Mother Marva Coates. I'm praying for her um, in the loss of her companion um, just this weekend. So you all see her. She's still on. We're praying her strength. Continue to pray for her. For those of you that have lost a loved one, you know what that feels like. You know what that feels like. So I need you to pray for her. Pray for her in this new uh, journey that she is walking through, that God would give her um, inner braces, inner braces to stand. Keep her in your prayer. I see you, Sister Barbara Burgess. Happy birthday to you, Brother Brock. Listen, I need you to go ahead and say good morning to at least three people. Mm -hmm. At least three people. And I want you to acknowledge I want you to acknowledge if they put a prayer request in the comments section, let them know that you're praying for them so that no one leaves this space in this time thinking that no one has seen their prayer and no one is praying for them. What concerns you should concern the people of God, should concern us, Brother Jeff Orkman, uh -huh, because it also concerns the heart of God. Sister Leona McNary, Sandy Britt, good morning to you. Lucretia Clark, good morning to you. So listen, while you're saying good morning to at least three people, um, some of you uh, try to say good morning to everybody like me, but at least three people, Sister China Banks, while you're doing that, I'm going to move over here to the conference line. God bless you, Minister Ernest Brown, Sister Christine Thomas, Evangelist Nona Fortuno. I'm going to move over to the conference line and be sure that I let them know. Um, Brother Isaac Cummings, good morning to you. Brother Jonathan Carl, Tierra Kello. Jonathan, uh, good morning to you. Evangelist Eva Taylor. I'm going to make sure that those in the conference line know how they can participate in the share, Sister Monica Allen. So good morning to those of you that are coming in by way of the conference line. I need you to participate in the share participate in the share. Sister Kathy Clay, how you participate in the share is you text someone, text someone that is in your community, that is in your inner circle, that is already awake and invite them to lean forward. What do we mean by lean forward? Minister Sharon Mims, Lady Ash, leaning forward. Maybe that they're laying down in the bed, but they have to receive this word. So I want them to be focused, be focused so that when we leave out this morning, we leave out with the word of God 
in our hearts, on our minds, that we may share, Sister Dorothy Wilson, and that we may live it out, <clears throat> live it out in front of those um, that do not know the Lord. Mm -hmm. So let me say good morning to you. Good morning, Place of Refuge, Pastor Steph Thomas. Good morning, Melvin Savage, Kareen Daniels, Tammy Williams, Marietta George, Jeanette Dumas, Troy and Yolanda Malloy, Brenda Gray, Jacqueline Hoskins. Good morning to you, Minister Evelyn Harden, Eunice Gooding. Good morning to you. God bless you. Jay Peoples, um, Ava Harrison. Uh, S. Hightower, Deacon Jerry McKinney, Sister Sonia McKinney, Tawana Stevens, Jolie McCoy, Nina Thrower, good morning to you, Sister Zenobia Purvine, I see you, Sister Sherry Shepherd, Laverne Hearns, good morning to you, uh, good morning to you, Brother, uh, Sister Josephine Jett, Elsina Winston, Mother Catherine Brown, Cassandra Shaw, Renee Campbell, Devour Pico Sr., good morning to you, Prophetess Zena McKinney, Gerald, Dick Elder Gerald McKinney. Good morning, Ivan Morris, Kimberly Steele. Good morning to you. I see you, Sister Asia. Listen, let me share this with you also for those of you that are coming in by way of Facebook Live and YouTube. If you experience a technical difficulty, Sister Jackie Burrow, if you experience any technical difficulty, I want you to move over to the conference line. That conference line number is 917-900-1022. Access code 8923928. Sister Rhonda Lockett, once again, President Tracy Agnew and Deacon Locke is helping me out with that number. It is 917-900-1022. Access code 8923928. And there we can hear the word of God. So let's listen. Let me say good morning to a few more of you before we move into our commanding word for this morning. Sister Sherry Irvin, good morning to you. Good morning to you, uh, Sister Robin, Sister Kia, Sister Lavinia Dorson. Good morning, Bishop Dale Shaw, Lady Susan Shaw, Elder Juan Agnew. Good morning, Pamela Love, Sherlyn Green, Deborah Thompson. Good morning to you, Sister Teresa Johnson, Sister June Johnson, Sister Lorette Morgan. Sister Janice Ballard, Sister Felicia Coleman, Danita Gibbs, good morning to you. So, lady, uh, Sister Betty Oliver, good morning to you. Sister Lorraine Asbury, Sister uh, Lavinia, good morning. Sister Pauline Pettiford, Sister Cynthia Nichols, good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Pat Scott Grant, Patricia Scott Grant. Good morning to you, Brother Arthur Johnson. God bless you, Patricia Cousins, Shirley Moreland, Deacon Tyrone Reed. I see you. Good morning to you, Sister Marjorie Clark. Good morning, Sister Deborah Oliver. God bless you, Sister Doretha Nutter, Sister Ernestine Towns, and Sister Wanda Clark. Brother Clark, good morning, Sister Darnell Clark, still praying for you. Lady Julie Evans, good morning, Sister Betty Hines, S. Lynn Jones, good morning. Denise Fonville, Teresa Beckley, Judy Wilkes, Sister Bernice Moore. Listen, I'm out of time, Sister Sandra Wright. So listen, I've got a good morning song for you uh, before we move into this word. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. Listen, do me a favor, reverberate the word of God. The word of God declares that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Mother McKinney, Mother Drayton, Mother Phillips. Mm -hmm. The word of God declares that when we pray, I will make my prayer unto God, Mother Cheatham, and he will hear me. Mother Gamble, Mother Peterson, and this right here is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, Mother Savage, he heareth us, Mother Joseph. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him, Mother Freeman. And Job came along and he said, and we also declare, Mother Gray, that thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy 
way. So let's move into the commanding word this morning. Um, we used to play the game when we were kids, Carolyn Dunlap. We used to play this game called hide and seek. And um, we would hide or someone would seek to find us or they would hide and we would seek to find them. The word of God I'm going to move to is in the book of John, um, the fourth chapter this morning. And um, I, I want to talk to you about uh, the seeking father, the seeking father. I need you to put that in the comment section, the seeking father. Um, uh, Oftentimes, um, we have a tendency to um, uh, hide from God. And when I talk about hiding from God, and that is that we stay away. Sometimes it is maybe something that we have done, or we get tired of praying, we get tired of seeking him, and nothing happens, or we think nothing is happening. Um, nothing is coming to pass. But oftentimes what we do not understand is there are some things that are going on in the root of the thing before you see the answer coming to the top. Or before you see something happening, there are some things that need to be addressed that's at the bottom level so that it does not come back to the forefront. And that's what we want God to do. But in our patience, in our impatience, we stop seeking God. We stop running after him. We stop looking for him. We halt on all things. We halt on all things because there can be that thought that nothing is changing. Um, there is no difference. And, and since I don't see the answer, maybe this is not the route for me to go. Maybe I need to begin to do something on my own. And you can uh, notice in the scripture that was Sarah. There was a promise that was made to her, um, but because it was seeming to take so long that she thought, it was that, that the father was um, waiting on her to make a move, waiting on her to solve or do something about the issue. She's prayed. Now uh, there is the belief you need to do something about this. And when she stepped in to do her own thing, that's when um, that's when everything else uh, 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 um, that was underneath the ground, that was in the root of the issue, the, uh, Satan uh, brought it forward and, and, and allowed her mind to, to focus on that. But I, I want to talk to you about the seeking father. I want you to remember this, though. Uh, uh, watch this, people of God. Um, I want you to remember this, that Satan has no original ideas. I need to put that in your foundation. Satan has no original ideas. Why? Because he is not a creator. He is created. Mm -hmm. He has no original ideas. In other words, all of his ideas uh, 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 um, um, at some point have already been done. But what he does is he does the opposite of what has already been done. All of Satan's ideas are the antithesis. They are uh, the contrary to what God has already done. Hear me, people of God, watch that. They are the contrary to what God has already done. Uh, how do I know that? Watch this. Um, in the book of Ezekiel, um, the, the 28th chapter, and around the latter part of verse 13, it, it declares Thou wast created. Thou was created. Um, he is not like God that uh, um, his existence um, was outside of God. And he is another one uh, that's able to, to, to do things or create things on his own. When we look at 1 Peter, 1 Peter uh, chapter 5 and verse 8. First Peter says, uh, watch this, that your adversary, mm -hmm, the devil, as a roaring lion, he walketh about 
seeking whom he may devour. He is walking about seeking whom he may devour. I need you to remember that. I need you to put that in the comment section because you need to remember that. He is walking about seeking whom he may devour. Just like when you when you see the, um, the animal channels and you see the lion, um, he's walking real slow, looking around, and he's casing the place. The Bible declares that your your adversary is seeking whom he may devour the scripture goes on to declare that as a thief your adversary the devil comes to steal kill and to destroy i need you to put that in the comment section your adversary the devil comes to steal kill and to destroy because I need you to watch that as we're going forward. But the Bible says, Jesus comes that you might have life and that more abundantly. I, I told you uh, that, at, that Satan does is does the antithesis of what God does. So he didn't have an original idea. So when Jesus comes that you might have life and that more abundantly, that adversary comes that he might steal, kill, and to destroy. Watch this. Watch this. Satan is a seeker, but your heavenly father is a seeker. Uh, watch this. I told you Satan has no original ideas. Your heavenly father was a seeker before Satan was a seeker. Satan seeks to steal and destroy. Your heavenly father is seeking also. So you have two seekers after you. Mm. You have two that are seeking after you. And then watch this. The Bible declares that you also are a seeker. So we have three seekers here. We have your father, which is in heaven, is a seeker, is seeking for you. You have your adversary, which is seeking for you. Then you have you. You are seeking also. Watch this. I need you to put this in the comment section. But what you seek after determines the kind of seeker that you are. What you seek after determines the kind of seeker that you are. Satan tries to duplicate the seek of God, but his motives are different. His motives are different. Uh, uh, what, what, what does it mean uh, before we move into uh, your father being a seeker after you? What does it mean to seek or to be a seeker? N number one, a seeker is one who is not satisfied with the status quo. Um, you see individuals and even you, before you came to Christ, um, you were trying, looking for all kinds of stuff to fill an empty space, uh, uh, an empty space. Um, uh, what was seemed to be absent within you? You filled it with this thing. You filled it with that thing. You filled it with that person. You were seeking, didn't realize that you were seeking God. Mm -hmm. You didn't realize you were seeking God, but all you knew was there was a, uh, uh, an emptiness and you were trying to fill it. Uh, a seeker, you know, we talk about seeking after God ourselves, but a seeker was one who's not satisfied with the status quo. Number two, a seeker is someone who is consumed by what it can be or was predestined to be. <clears throat> I'm going to say that again. A seeker is someone who is consumed by what it can be or was predestined to be. The seeker has no rest, Sister Patrice Curtsy. Number three, what is a seeker? A seeker is a restless mind. Somebody said, when you come to Christ, um, there should not be um, any more wrestling. There should not be any more. Watch this. A seeker is never satisfied. 
I shouldn't say never satisfied. A seeker is not satisfied with what he is. A seeker is one who has to grow, continues to grow. What watch the number four? A seeker is agitated by what is. They cannot remain. Uh, they cannot be. Let's just let's, let's just remain here. Let's just do here. Let's just um, mellow here. No, a seeker is always seeking for better. Is always looking for better. Uh, number five, a seeker will repeatedly believe and disbelieve. Believe and disbelieve. They will believe the truth and they will uh, uh, um, dismiss what is untrue. They will believe what is true and they will dismiss what is untrue. They are constantly believing and disbelieving in order to be sure that in their lives is the right thing. What is a seeker? A seeker will question what is until they come to the truth. Number seven, I, I need you to hear what a seeker is because we're going somewhere. A seeker mm -hmm, is a searcher. I need somebody to put that in the comment section. A real seeker is a searcher. There's no, there's no such thing about um, wanting the best for your life, seeking the best for your life spiritually and even physically. Um, seeking and and you stop, you you give up. A real seeker don't stop. Hi, yeah, yeah. A real seeker don't stop. Uh, uh, number eight, a seeker is consumed. A seeker is, a real seeker is consumed. Number nine, a seeker, as Jeremiah, has a constant raging fire within the bones that cannot be satisfied with less than the desired craving. I like that. I'm going to say that again because I need somebody to put that in the comment section. Mm -hmm. A seeker. Just as Jeremiah has a constant raging fire within the bones that can't be satisfied with less than the desired craving. They won't stop. They won't stop until the craving is satisfied. Uh, and, and that could take a lifetime. Number 10, watch this. A seeker pushes against the norm. Uh, uh, number 11, because we often say that we're seekers, um, uh, uh, but a seeker is always, always seeking. Number 11, a seeker is not swayed by time, by lack, by the minimal of what is left. A seeker is not swayed by we can't, it's never been done excuses, closed doors, trials, tribulations, rejection, fear within self nor in others. A seeker is not swayed by these things. That's just a stepping stone, an opportunity for them to step up and keep moving. A seeker, uh, 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 number 12, a seeker declares, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. A seeker understands there is the greater in me that will not allow me to settle for status quo, to settle for what is. <coughs> Number 13, that I want you to watch this. The promise is for the seeker. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Now watch this. Why did I give you all of what a seeker is? Because Jesus said in John 4 and verse 23. I need you to put that in the comment section in John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh. 
my God. And now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. I need somebody to put in the comment section. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. You, you, we say, I'm a seeker. I'm a seeker after, I'm a seeker after God. I'm a seeker after the things of God. Well, a seeker does not stop. And the Bible declares that your father is seeking. Watch this. Your adversary is seeking and so is your father seeking. Uh, you must seek like your father is seeking. The father is seeking now such to worship him. The father is seeking true worshipers. Hear me, people of God. Hear me, people of God. The father is seeking true worshipers that will worship him in spirit and in truth. But watch this. Uh, uh, the Bible says uh, uh, from the book of Ezekiel, and the word of the Lord came unto me, Ezekiel saying, and I sought for a man. I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and that should stand in the gap before me for the land. Stand in the gap before for me for the land that I should not destroy it. But then watch what Ezekiel writes, but I found none. Watch this. The psalmist declares that the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his pleasure in his mercy. The Lord taketh pleasure in him. For the father is seeking for going about. The father is desiring. The father is consumed. The father is consumed with. The father is not satisfied with what is declared to be worship. What you have declared to be worship. The, there is an unquenchable thirst within your father, and he's looking for one that will give, that will offer up true worship. The father has an insatiable hunger for true worshipers that will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I need somebody to put that in the comment section. The Father has an insatiable hunger for true worshipers that will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I need to ask this question right now. Are you satisfying the insatiable hunger of your Father? Hiya. I need you to put in the comment section. That's what the Lord is asking all of us. Are you satisfying the insatiable hunger of your father? True worshipers. True worshipers are, are, are the real trustees of the presence of God. Mm. A true worshiper cannot come. Now watch this. A uh, 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 true worship is not just when you get to the house of God, but a true worshiper when getting to the house of God will not be seen sitting, folding their arms and looking around and not into uh, 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 the, the presence of God and will not be a, a, a real trustee of the presence of God. True worshipers, uh, that is when you come to the house of God, that is just a continuation of what you have done at home, what you have done in private. It is not a new thing when you get to the house of God, but it's a continuation. True worshipers are uh, trustees of the things of God. True worshipers are always presenting their whole body as a living sacrifice. The Bible says true worshipers shall worship or shall carry the worth of God, 
shall exalt the character of God, will walk out their reverence of God, whether at home or in front of people. True worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. What do we mean by in spirit and in truth? Not in a place first, but who will worship him in private so that in public it's not a performance. Hmm. Sometimes we can be public performers, but private do nothings. Command your whole body to reference God in the understanding of who he is in fear. Commanding your whole body. Worship is not just an act, but worship is a lifestyle. Does your life satisfy the insatiable hunger of your father? There was a song that we used to say, and, and, and that song says, and, and we sing it um, years ago. The song says, when you see me coming, I got him on my mind. When you see me coming, I got him on my mind. The father is searching the land for real worshipers. In this day and time, people of God, A true worshiper is not hiding the fact that they are for God. Mm -hmm. True worshipers, real worshipers, huh, will reference God at any time. Does your worship, and we get ready to pray, does your worship satisfy, dear God? Mm. Does your worship satisfy the agitation of the father or should he look for another? I need somebody to put that in the comment section. Is your worship satisfying the agitation, the, the proverbial agitation in the heart of the father or should he look for another? He is seeking for seekers because he is a seeker. We getting ready to pray. We getting ready to pray. And I, I brought with me this morning a, a prayer intercessor, um, a, a, a evangelist or a minister, um, minister Evelyn Harden. I know I saw her at one point in time, um, evangelist Evelyn Harden. Um, we're, she's going to lead us in prayer. She's going to lead us in prayer. I don't see her um, anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and go into prayer. Evangelist Evelyn Harden, um, we're getting ready to pray. I see her now. Evangelist Evelyn Harden, are you there? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Come on, let's pray. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Father, hey, I'm so cold, yeah. It's in the name of Jesus that we come before you, Lord God, to bless your wonderful name, God. You are such a holy God. You are the righteous one, God. You are the great I am, God. The I am that I am, God. You are the faithful and true God. So we come, we come, we come this morning, Lord, to worship and to magnify your name, God. Oh, God, you've been so good. Your loving and kindness, Lord God, that you have shared unto us. God. So we want to bow down before you, Lord. Bowing down before a holy king, God. Oh, God, here we are, Lord God, with a broken heart, Lord. A broken and a contrite spirit, God, that you would not despise 
eyes. Here we are, God, to love on you, God. We recognize, God, without you, Lord, we would be nothing, God. You created each of us, God, for your glory, Lord, for your praise, God. So here we are this morning, Lord God, presenting, Lord, our bodies a living sacrifice unto you, O oh Lord. Here we are, God, to seek your face, Lord God, to seek, Lord, what is your will, Lord? What is your desire, God? We, Lord God, just want to please you, God. We want our worship, Lord God, in our praise, Lord, to be a sweet favor unto thee, O God. We, Lord God, come to you because we delight in you. We take pleasure in you. We take pleasure to do thy will, Lord God, to know what it takes to please our Father. Lord, you said the only one that can come and worship you, Lord, are those that will worship you in spirit and truth, Lord. So here we are, dear you. Oh, yeah. To worship you, Lord, of our sin, out of our spirits, Lord God. Lord God, we want to be like that tree, being our mosquito. Oh, God. That's planted by the rivers of water. Lord God, that we can drink in our mosquito from your word, Lord God. We want to just be feel, Lord God, with all of you, Lord God. Oh, God, we want to be consumed with you, God. Oh, God, but we know, Lord God, that we, God, want to please you. We desire, Lord God, to know more of you, Lord. We desire higher God, a closer walk with you, Lord. We desire that relationship, Lord. We want to be your servants, Lord. Those are willing vessels, Lord God, that will yield to your will, Lord, that will have a yes in our spirit. Yes, to your way, Lord. Yes, to your will, Lord. Yes, to your worship. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, coming from the very depths of our heart, Lord. So we, Lord God, commit our way unto thee, Lord. We commit our minds to you, Lord. We commit our hands, Lord. Lord, we just want to be used by thee, God. So, oh God, we take your word, Lord, I see I, and we bind it, Lord God, upon the tables of our hearts, God. Oh God, they will be the frontlets for our eyes, Lord. The Lord that we always see is you, Lord. All we do, Lord, is desire you, Lord. Desire your word, Lord God. Seeking, Lord God, to know the way and the plans of God. Lord God, we give up our all to thee, Lord God. We commit our spirits unto you, God, because you created us, Lord God. You created us in your image, God, and after your likeness, God. So, oh, God, here we are, Lord, wanting to magnify you, God, wanting to lift up the wonderful 
powerful name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're greater than that heart that can it after the water brook. Oh, God, it's that soul, eat up my soul, yeah, that thirst for the true living God is you, Lord God. We desire your presence, God. Yeah. Oh, glory. Oh, God. We desire yeah, to just to sit at your feet, to seek your face, Lord God, day and night, in the midnight hour, even in the troubling time, God. But we know, Lord God, we can do nothing without you, God. So we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity, God. To seek after you, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, for we know in your presence is the fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there's pleasures forevermore, God. We recognize in your presence, God, there's healing that can take place, God. Oh, God. I pray now, Lord, my feet are for those that need that touch, Lord God. I'm asking, Father, in the name of Jesus, hey, God, that you would send your comforting name to those who have lost loved ones, the one who has lost their husband, God. I pray. God, would you step in, Lord, I'm a touch their hearts, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that they will allow you to be their husband, man, Lord God, because you are the provider, God. Those who might have lost a child, Lord God, oh, God, comfort their hearts, Lord God. Meet them at their needs, God. Those that need a touch in their minds, God. I pray, God, that you would give them peace, God. That peace of God that has them all understanding. Oh, Father, I pray, God, for those that need healing in their bodies, God. Healing, Lord God, of their hearts. I pray, God, that you would get in the main aorta, Lord. Clear out the plaque. Any build up, let a Clear it out, God, in the name of Jesus. I speak to the muscle of the heart in the upper and the lower chamber of the heart. Oh, God, cause it to come into alignment to the perfect will and the beat of Jesus. I pray, God, for the circulatory system in the name of Jesus. Cause the blood to flow freely throughout the body, God. Regulate the systolic and diastolic pressure, God. I pray, God, for those that are suffering with dementia, Shiraya, touch the part of the brain, the frontal part of the brain, God. Create, Lord God, restore new cells, God. Bring the memory back. God, you said in your word, Lord, I must see it, that the Holy Ghost will bring all things back to our remembrance. Bring it back, God, in the name of Jesus. Those that are suffering, Lord God, with all types of cancer, Lord, reverse the situation, God, create healthy risk cells and white cells. Get in the plasma of the bloody guy. Eat out of all the 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, dear God, because the prayer that has been prayed this morning, the prayer, Lord God, of faith through Minister Evelyn Harden and the prayer, dear God, that we have prayed collectively unto you. God, we thank you because it's not gone unheard. Thank you because you hear. Your word declares, not only do you hear, 
but you answer prayers. Thank you for being a prayer answering God. There are many other issues and things, God, that we need to lay before you, Father, but we know what we have not said, you see. So Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus that as we move forward in this day, give us peace, peace in our heart, peace in our mind to know Lord God that you are still in control and that you have it. Nothing has gone outside of your sight. So, Father, we are declaring that we are victorious based upon your word. So, Father, I pray for your people as they go from place to place today. I pray, Lord, traveling mercies, whether they're going by foot, by train, by boat or by plane, whether they're on the highway, the streetway, the back way, Father, keep your people in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you to cover your people. No incidents and no accidents today. And Father, I pray a blessing over your people based upon the word. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So listen, people of God, let there be peace on earth and let it begin within us. Please practice social distancing, the wearing of your mask and the washing of your hands until we come together again on tomorrow morning. I want to encourage you as you encourage somebody else that whatever you do, be sure that you stay with God. Whatever you do, stay with God. Whatever comes your way, stay with God. Whatever the storm, stay with God.